Morning, Mr. Peterson. Morning, Mary. Well, in two weeks, Conrad Birdie, the biggest rock and roll teen idol this country has ever seen, is going in the army. They just denied our second appeal. Would you stop that and listen to me? This could be the end of the Almay Lou Music Corporation. Rose, did you hear what I just said? What is that? My resignation. My pills. Where are my pills? The little white ones. Well, not a whole one. Break it in half. You're 39 years old, Albert. You can take a whole aspirin. How can you resign at a time like this? My mind is made up, Albert. As you well know, I've been with Al Lou for eight years now, and I've been a lot more than just a secretary to you. Oh, oh, I get it now. You want to raise... Wrong. You know what I want, Albert. Rosie, if you're referring to anything of a more permanent nature... Well, I'm just not ready for it. Besides, there are religious differences. Spanish is not a religion. And if it's part of the company you're after, you, the answer is no to that, too. Almy Lou is me, Mama, and Lou. And any change in that would kill that wonderful woman that bore Nothing me. Nothing could kill your mother, Albert, except maybe a silver bullet. And I won't drop poor old Lou, either. He loved you, Rose. Oh, I love Lou, too. Sure, he was warm, he was loyal, he was lovable, but he died six years ago, and besides, he was a wire-haired terrier. Anyhow, I don't want a part of the company. This is something much more important. Oh, you're going to discuss what I think you're going to discuss. I am in no mood to discuss There's it. There's nothing to discuss, Albert. Conrad Birdie's going into the army, and I quit. The only thing you can do is give up the business, go back to college, and get your degree. Oh, Rose, I am up to my ears in debt. Conrad Birdie has a $50,000 guarantee, which I can't pay. And I have just taken a severe overdose of aspirin. Albert, this may be your very last chance. Will you listen to me, Albert? I'm serious. His going in the army is the best thing it could do. Now you're free to start to do what you wanted to. Albert, Albert, Albert. I remember how you told me I should trust you for a year. It would just be for a year, but it's eight years, Albert. Eight long years, Albert. It takes time to build a business, Rosie. It was only a sideline, that's what you said. You just needed some money, that's what you said. You were going to college and get ahead. Instead of being a music business bum, you were going to NYU and become... Don't say it, Rosie! An English teacher. And furthermore, you wrote poetry. Oh, and in the NYU yearbook under Albert Peterson's very favorite piece of literature, you want to know what it says, little women. An English teacher, an English teacher, if only you'd been an English teacher, we'd have a little apartment in Queens. You'd get a summer vacation. We would know what life means. A man who's got his masters is really someone. How proud I'd be if you had become one. It could have been such a wonderful life. I could have been Mrs. Peterson, Mrs. Albert Peterson, Mrs. Phi Beta Kappa Peterson. Rosie, I'll make a deal with you. Stay with me. Help me get the money to pay Conrad's guarantee, and I promise, as soon as I'm out of the red, I will dissolve this company and go back to the academic life.
Albert, you're on. Oh, Rosie, that's great. Now, it may take me a little while, but I'm sure by 1973 or so. Pick a name. P pick a name, what are you talking about? Oh, never mind, I'll, I'll pick one for you. McAfee, Kim McAfee. President and Recording Secretary, Conrad Birdie Fan Club, number 2,748, Sweet Apple, Ohio. Mary, get me Sweet Apple, Ohio, capital 7820. Right. What are you talking about? Who's this Kim McFrackity? McAfee, Albert. Kim McAfee is going to send you back to college with the biggest hit song this music industry has ever heard, and it's called One Last Kiss. I never heard of it. Well, you haven't written it yet. But when you do, and when that one last kiss is from Conrad on his way into the big cold army for two long years, and he gives that kiss to one of his fans, chosen at random from 1,200,000 screaming hysterical teenagers, it'll make Mr. Birdie the hottest soldier since Joan of Arc. Wait a minute, Rosie, Rosie, I'm beginning to get the point. We, 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 we cut the record here in New York. Take Conrad Birdie to Sweet Apple. Well, let him kiss this kid. And then release the record. Oh, Albert, you'll make enough money to stay in college the rest of your life! Rosie, you're wonderful! And I promise, the minute this is settled, it'll just be the two of us, together in perfect bliss. I'll get a job teaching English and... Bliss. Kiss. That rhymes. I wonder if anyone's ever used it before. Well, what difference does it make? It'll be perfect for the song. Uh... Oh, oh, one last kiss. It really is such bliss. Our lips will never miss. Just turn your head like this. That's Rosie, not bad. Rosie, all, all the lines right. are busy. Oh, every phone in Sweet Apple can't be busy. What's going on there? 